Welcome to this super simple glam look. I start out with the Benefit Cosmetics Professional Face Primer. Then I move on to the Stila Cosmetics Hide and Chic Foundation in shade Medium 5. I apply this with a very dense sponge. Um, I spread mine around. I mo know most people pat it in. I do pat it in at the, at the end, but spreading it around goes a little bit quicker. Um, even that takes a little while because I'm a perfectionist. Then I put some It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye um, concealer on my eyes for my eyeshadow. Uh, this is shade Hello Light. Then for my eyebrows, I use Brow Bar by Rima. It is a powder um, eyebrow makeup that you fill in your brows with. Um, I start on the edge, like in the middle, and I fill in from the top down, and I just kind of try and make them as even as possible. I am a firm believer that your eyebrows are never going to look the same, um, so I just try and get them both as similar as possible. My right eyebrow is always a little thicker than my left, so I had to go in and clean that up just a little bit. That's better. I'm using the Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. This is my only palette I have from her. I absolutely love it. I go in with shade Beach on my upper lid. Um, I go in both sides with that. Again, this is a super simple glam, so you're literally using two eyeshadow colors. That is it. Two colors. So easy. And then on my lid, I go in with shade Palladium. So that was Beach on my upper lid. And on my lower lid, I go in with palladium on both sides. Literally the only two colors I'm going to be using today. This formula is amazing. Go in with a liquid liner. This is actually kind of a marker. Make a very tiny wing and bring it across my lid. Sorry, my hand was kind of in the way. I'm still getting better at these videos gonna do the other side. I make them as even as possible. I also think no two wings are the same unless you're professional, which I am not. So they always end up looking slightly different to me, but honestly, no one would notice. So next, I'm going to go under my eyes with the illuminator side of that IT Cosmetics concealer. I just do two little dots under my eyes. I don't need a ton of product. A little strip down my nose to make that pop a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with my Ace Beauty Bronzed in Paradise palette. I'm going to do my contour. You're just highlighting the shape of your face, trying to really make my cheekbones pop. I went in with the second to lightest bronzer shade of that palette. I am pale because it is winter now. I'm going to sculpt my nose. I just go along the shape of my nose on both sides and then a line in the middle to make it look shorter. Blend that in really, really well with a short fluffy brush. It looks darker on camera than it looks in person, so it looks a little funny on camera, but not really. Now I'm going to use my Glamnetic lashes today. So this is the Glamnetic liquid eyeliner. You're going to do two coats of this. So this is the first coat and then you let it dry and then we'll do a second coat later on. The Glamnetic lashes are my favorite and I always buy the vegan ones. This is my blush. It's Nude Stick, Nude Peach. I put it on the apples of my cheeks and then I smooth it up towards my hairline. This is gonna be my bottom liner. It's a gel liner from Maybelline. And I just go in along my waterline, make it as thin as possible with a um, pointed eyeshadow brush. And this is my IT Cosmetics Goodbye Pour um, Pressed Powder. And I just put a little bit of that under my eyes. Now I'm going back in with a second layer of the Glamnetics Liner. Make sure my eyelashes stick really well. It always gets my eyelashes, but I pull it off. And now I'm going in with the Tarte Cosmetics, just like a base powder. It's called Smooth Operator. This is my secret, you guys. This is the big secret revealed here. 
this is how I make my lips plump and luscious without getting lip injections because I'm terrified of needles. This is called Candy Lips. It's basically just like a suction cup and it makes my lips big. The effects last maybe 45 minutes, but the nice part is that I've put my lipstick on before that. So even once they shrink down a little bit, um, they still look a lot fuller than normal because I've applied my lipstick. Now I'm applying my lashes. See how they stick on so easy. And then I just press my real lashes together with the fake lashes so there's no gaps. Then I use a really small brush. That's my Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit Cosmetics on my lower lashes. If you use a big chunky brush, then the mascara tends to get everywhere on your lower lashes. Ooh, look at that difference. And then I clean up around my mouth a little bit. This is Kylie Cosmetics Malibu. I decided to go with a nice nude shade today because I've been using red all the time lately because of the holidays. So I felt like going a little simpler with a nude shade. I'm gonna put a little concealer on because I have a little bit of redness from the suction. Smooth that out. And last but not least, highlighter. This is a new highlighter I got from Complex Culture in shade Afterglow. Um, I really like it, it's a really nice powder. And there's the finished product.